Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello there and welcome to the show. Now I'm back again with body language and flirting expert Katia Loisel Fury and we're talking about how to be a successful flirt. I cannot wait, Katia. It's so <laughs> easy. <laughs> so what can you do? The big thing about flirting is that most of us get so caught up in our nerves that we send out negative signals rather than positive signals. You know, 89% of women and 78% of guys said that they get nervous approaching the opposite yep. sex, so it's yep. completely normal. So, and you know, flirting is just a basic instinct. The, the thing is our brain gets in the way and we start thinking all these negative yes. thoughts. So if you see someone you're attracted to, the first thing is you have to get into their flirting zone. Closer than 1.5 metres away. Okay, yeah. so get out your tape measures. You have to move. <laughs> oh my God. Excuse me, just let me check 1.5. Okay, yeah. they're so about 1.5. About 1.5. Oh, closer. You bet. Yeah, all closer. All closer. Now, before you do that, it's really important. So, if to... you're in a bar, you need to maneuver yourself. You've got to move. <laughs> my goodness. Because okay. otherwise, how are they going to know that you're even attracted to them? Doesn't or to that you, seem really with... obvious? Well, you know, if you want to get their attention, you know, you've got to, they've got, got to, to notice you, put surely. It out there. Okay, yeah. we've got to put it out there, guys. So the second, and even before you do that, you have to make a mental checklist of your body language to make sure you look open and approachable. Uncrossing your arms, uncrossing your legs, smiling, making eye contact. The big question is, ask yourself, would I approach me? If the answer is no, you need to change what you're doing. Then you need to catch their gaze. No point right. flirting. You can't flirt with them if, if you're not they're looking, not looking at, at you. Yeah. No, that's right. Or do what girls do, you know, and you walk past and gently brush them and think, I touched them. You know, <laughs> hello. It just, it doesn't work. Now, I've done that many times, so I don't know. So you make eye contact, hold their gaze for up to four seconds. Now that's going to release subconscious signal in their brain that tells them that you're attracted and it's going to release the love drug phenolethalamine that's going to make them go, oh, and they're not really? even going to know why. I love that. Absolutely. This is a great technique. Four seconds of staring. Uh, and you've you... got to smile at the same time, so we're not yeah. staring. Okay, okay, so, not... so you give them the yeah. little smile, four okay. seconds. A little smile. A little smile. And then the... Then after four seconds, you've got to look away. Okay. So you've got to look away. Now, you can look away. Now, some people will look away for two minutes. too long. Yep. 20 seconds, you know, you might do a little bit of... And then look back and, and smile back at them again. For another four seconds. Absolutely. Now, while you're doing it, it's really important. The thing is, your brain is going to do you in. You're going to get flooded with these things that say you're not attractive enough, they don't want you. Your brain cannot think two things at the same time. In order to get rid of that and to send 10,000 positive signals that say, oh, come and get it. <laughs> you need to think the words, you are gorgeous. Now, if you want them to approach you, think you are gorgeous, come and talk to me. Seriously. Or, because without realising it, your, when you think that your, your um, body language is, most of the time, it's going to give a little indication to come talk. You don't even really? realise it, but just by thinking those thoughts, you're sending out. So it's so, not mental telepathy. No. It's, it's oh. actually, it's, no, exactly. Because <laughs> that's what it sounds like, mental telepathy, you know, come over here and get yeah. me. Um, but no, it's not that then, is it? It's basically, so when you're thinking something, your body actually starts to... Send out the signals. Send yeah. out signals that it... 10,000. So, you know, normally when we see someone we're attracted to, we often send out negative signals. Yes. But if you're thinking, you are gorgeous, gorgeous. then you are sending 10,000 um, signals. Now, whether they... They might not be attracted to you, in, no, which, so case, in which case they might not come. They might be really shy. But if you keep that up and you keep... And, you know, if they look at you and you keep that... You know, you might need to approach them eventually, yeah. and guys particularly. <laughs> But absolutely, and it works like a treat, I promise you, and it does get easier. So what are the flirting signals that you need to look out for okay, yes. from other people that they're flirting with you? I mean, we never want to manufacture flirting signals. Once you know what they are, then your brain will subconsciously pick up on them. And every time, you know, you're thinking a negative thought, it's going to override and think, no, no, but look, she's yes. checking you out. So, you know, any type of preening. Now, they, I've now got to say... this is for guys. This is for guys knowing Guys girls and girls. So we'll okay. do both at the oh, same really? time. Absolutely. Now, this is the big thing. When it comes to flirting or any type of body language, it's about a cluster of at least three to five signals. Okay. One signal on its own doesn't mean something. May not mean... Just because a girl's looking at you and smiling does not mean come and get it. it... But... <laughs> <laughs> No, definitely not. If she's looking at you and smiling and perhaps, you know, doing any kind of touching, any kind of touching right. on itself, whilst looking at you and smiling, 
is basically they're preening themselves for you. You know, when we're attracted to somebody, we tend to, you know, we get a rush of blood through our lips, through yep. our, our skin yep. starts to tingle. And so it's autoerotic touching. We start to touch ourselves. So if a guy starts preening his hair whilst looking at you or touching his face whilst looking at you, particularly touching of the lips, get over there really oh. quickly. <laughs> You know, you're in. You're in. If somebody repositions themselves and starts looking at you, girls in particular, and looks at you and then, you know, perhaps readjusts their clothing, you know. Really? Um, yeah, absolutely. Starts playing with their hair. And for most girls, this is totally unconscious. They don't even know that they're doing absolutely. it either, do they? I would never so say manufacture it. Yeah, but this is them flirting. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Now, if for, a guy, in, for a guy, it might just be that he touches his hair, that he plays with his tie or his shirt, pulls up his socks, isn't Another one, you know. Seriously? Seriously. And if they start unbuttoning their buttons, hello, you know what they've got <laughs> on their mind. <laughs> Either run or get in there. <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, look, I hope that you learned some great <laughs> ideas from Katya. You can go out there and check if people are flirting with you or you can flirt with them. Thanks so much, <laughs> Katya. We'll see you next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.